My name is Andra, and I am here representing Zucker Feather Products, and today we are going to discuss the wonderful world of peacock feathers. <laughs> Before we get started though, I want to go over just a couple of fun facts. People always ask us, where do the peacock feathers come from? It is of course the male birds that always produce the most attractive and colorful feathers. And the primary purpose of this is for mating season. Each bird, each peacock or peafowl will produce up to 200 feathers every monsoon season before they shed them. And then they grow back each year fuller, longer, stronger, more beautiful. And it's interesting, these birds actually have a lifespan of about 10 to 20 years in, in the wild, but they can live up to 50 years in captivity. So uh, the male birds produce a lot of feathers every year. That's why peacock is in so much of abundance. These feathers in their natural splendor um, have a really beautiful natural greens, ambers. Um, in the center of the eye, you'll see like the blues and the purples and just really rich color. And evidently, this is um, all refraction from light. The, the color of that you see in the peacock feather, the feather is so intricate that it's really just the refraction of light that gives it its lustrous colors. <laughs> We source what is called a complete tail feather, which will have um, a little bit of, you can tell it just comes straight out. It's just, they drop them so easily. Um, it's not cut at the bottom. We have like a, a four to eight inch, you know, a nine to 15 inch. Um, these are all complete tails here. And then we also sell it in a category where we call and refer to this as a cut tail. And the cut tails can be any one of these um, size categories that, you know, if we get any breakage during the sterilization or cleaning, any of the washing, we have this available. So if you wanting to trim these feathers or use them for earrings, or if you're embellishing like a mirror or garlands, um, this is a good size category to purchase in. And then the peacock swords, have a both a right and a left side to them and you can see like the feather is um, really only coming off of the like say the left side of the spine or the right side but we do different sizes of swords and they just are the progression of how they are um, dispersed or how they're grown on the tail of the, of the bird so there's like about a 15 inch, 20, 25 to all the way up to like a 40 inch on the tail feathers. There's also what we call flu or harrel, um, used in a lot of fly ties and the fly fishermen love those, or I should say the fish love those. <laughs> the natural flu, of course, is gonna have this lustrous green, natural iridescent green sheen to it. Um, we do some treatments where we do a bleach dyed or a burn, but the peacock flu can range anywhere from like a four to six inch to up to like a 14 inch. Um, and uh, people ask a lot like, you know, what does a yard look like? Um, this is just rolled up. It's all sewn together at the tip of the, I should say the end of the, the feather. This is really thick but it just gets sewn and stitched together at the end here. So, you know, costumes galore. But um, that is what a full yard of, I believe this is the 12 to 14 inch looks like. Um, you can buy them in smaller packages as well. Uh, I think you get about like an, a, an inch of this strung material. We do the bleach dyed flu in a beige color. Um, we can customize and, and dye this any of the colors um, that you see in the bleach dyed peacock as well. Um, but this one we stock in a four to six inch by the yard. This is not quite a yard here. This is just a little piece. Um, another treatment that we do over the flu is called burning, the burnt peacock flu. 
And some people refer to this as horsehair, but it's really sharp looking. It's super couture for all you milliners out there that, you know, want to add, you know, something a little different to your hats or, um, I don't know, I guess you could even wear it as earrings. I don't know. Um, you're the designers. Um, here is a 12 to 14 inch in the black. Um, this is, so this gets burnt and then also dyed. When you just burn it, I think it's like more of a, a light kind of beigey color. Um, very natural looking. So that is the burnt peacock flu. The other feather is um, some of the plumage that we get in gold, blue, or green. Um, and this is a little bit more rare. Um, we don't get a whole lot of that every season. But we do, we are able to source some and they're great for like little finishing on earrings. Those are really special natural plumages that we get. Okay, so some of the different treatments that we can apply to the peacock feathers is um, the, the first process I'll talk about is the stem dyed. And this is where the spine or the, the, the stem of the feather um, absorbs the dye but the natural iridescent hues kind of still come through. You just kind of get a little bit of a tint of the feather in the dye process. You'll see uh, a lot of these natural ambers and the greens and all those natural iridescent colors still come through on a stem dye. Um, so this is like a gold stem dye, whereas this is what we call a bleach dye. And what happens in the bleach dyeing process is that the feather gets degraded down. We can degrade it down to a, kind of like a light ivory color. And then we deposit the color on it. And you can see there is some dimensions of color in the center of the eye. But for the most part, depending on the color that it gets dyed, uh, you'll see the entire feathers is saturated in the color that we dye it, both front and back. We also, of course, do these treatments on the peacock swords, stem dye treatments on the tail feathers, and also on the, uh, for the bleach dyed. So there's a few extra special treatments that we can do to the peacock feathers. The process that we refer to as tipping. And uh, this is a two-step process where the feather is usually dyed as to start with a lighter color so that we can tip from the bottom up and give it a tone, a two-tone. Um, there are some other really beautiful colors that we have available, and um, those are really great for carnival uh, costumes. The other treatment is what we refer to as sprayed, and you can use a floral spray or even a, a spray paint, but it really depends on um, the color that you're starting with. Um, some of the sprays might not show up if you're, say, putting a um, you know, pink on pink, it might be kind of defeating the purpose, but the metallics look really well over the feather. And the floral sprays seem to be a little less sticky than a regular spray paint. You just want to make sure that you don't spray too close, too fast. You get a nice light dusting over the feather so that it doesn't um, lose its integrity or stick together. <laughs> Okay, so some of the applications that we use peacock for can be found in feather boas, um, which can also be used as garlands for decor. Um, this one's my favorite. <laughs> this is also including some uh, rooster schlappen feathers that are dyed black. But as you can see, there are some peacock eyes interspersed and some swords um, into this beautiful garland which we also use to create this wreath, which is really great. You can use for Halloween or if you're just getting really savvy for your holiday and you don't want to go with your traditional red and greens. Um, the black wreath is really fun. Um, we make this mirror with peacock eyes made to order. And then also these little nifty Christmas trees, which come with a little insert. And we do that, this is all made in the USA. We do that here in house. Um, this is another feather wreath that we make um, from the boa. Um, so other products that we do, this is like a 
a center, you can lay this on a table. It's like a centerpiece for the table. If you're putting a vase on top or a big candle, a non -flam flammable candle is probably the safest. <laughs> you don't really want to mix flammable candles with feathers too often. So play it safe. Some of the other products that we make or um, have manufactured with peacock eyes are feather fans or we do feather pads. Uh, this one here has a peacock eye in the center with a couple of swords, both right and left side. And these are just on a little bit of a felt backing and they're great for if you're making like a headband or um, maybe you're making a headdress, um, very ornate and elaborate, or maybe you just want to embellish, you know, even, you know, some epaulets for your shoulders. <laughs> so we also make some fancy costume accessories with the peacock feathers. Um, this is a kind of a three in one. It can be worn as a collar. It can also be worn around the head, believe it or not, as a headpiece. Or if you want to shake a tail feather and wear it as a bustle around the back, it certainly can function as either one of those, either three of those items. Here's one with some black um, schlop and fringe and natural peacock. Some of the different uses um, for peacock feathers, uh, we do find ourselves um, in the world of the floral industry a lot with peacock feathers. Um, we can make feather floral picks that can go into any floral arrangement. Um, and of course, with all of the different treatments, there are just really endless possibilities for how to create a floral pick. You could do either on your own or we do pre-make a few picks. Uh, one that has a little bit of pheasant tail in it, a little rooster schloppins. Um, here's one that's got some bleach dyed with black, and these are really great too. They can also be used for, honestly, like even a hat trim. This is really sweet. A couple of swords that have been curled and glued into the stem. Here's some peacock flu mixed in with some goose piats. And this is a little goose coquille feather. And here um, we have a little bit of curled flu and I'll show you how to curl the flu. This is a uh, fun little treatment that you can do with the, the Herald. And you just take a non, the non-blunt edge of like the scissors and you kind of just curl it like you do ribbon. You just, pretty sweet. You can also curl the peacock swords um, and it's up to you. Some people like to strip off the little bit of flu that's hanging on the, the front side of the spine. Um, but otherwise, you can just curl this just like ribbon. Here are a couple of different trimmings on the peacock eye. Um, these are very delicate. I really recommend using sharp, sharp scissors if you're going to get a nice fine cut on any of the eyes. This is like in a little bit of a triangle. This one has been stripped off from the bottom and then just trimmed around the top for a rounded edge. Um, and depending on the size of the eye will determine um, the size of your trimmings. Um, this is really neat, I love this one. It's just been sliced up the side but a little flue left here and then a rounded edge. You've got the tip of the flue left on and just stripped from the bottom down. This is a really beautiful rounded out edge with no flue, it's been stripped on the, the stem here, but this just follows the nice curvature of the natural eye. Um, or, you know, really, this, it's, it's really up to you. You can find any kind of, you know, shape or um, special trimming. I love these where it's just the eye. Really nice shape, beautiful color. Gives you the blues and the aquas and purples. Um, here's one where you've got a longer stem and just the rounded out edge of the eye. 
Um, so yeah, you can get the peacock feathers in bulk. This is what a hundred piece package looks like. Um, it's quite a bit, but you can also get them in smaller packages. Um, just depends on the quantity or the, the color and the, um, the size. You can get them in single piece packages, two piece packages, by the dozen, 10 piece packages, 25 piece packages, just depends. You can check out our packaged feather category to see what all is available and how it's, um, how it's sold. But um, we have some great values on these bulk feathers. And the swords are also available in bulk by the hundred, separated in a right or left wing. Well, that concludes our little segment on peacock feathers today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if there's anything that we failed to cover, just give us a call and we're here to help. If you have any costume needs or any questions, just give us a buzz and we'll be happy to help you.